Um. Thank you very much, Joe. As you mentioned it, a big round of applause for Joey Flash was Wolves, ugh, Wolves as well. Really stepping up here and showing what they got. Unfortunately, not enough to take down TSM, but certainly put up a good fight. And just um, summarizing this last game, running a double AD comp, and I think trying to make things happen or feeling like they had to make things happen early because they don't want to fall too far behind, obviously, with double AD, and it's just backfiring. You know, they really had a good plan for the early game, particularly with the warding, and they just kind of forced things in the, not only in the wrong manner, but in the wrong places as well. Trying to focus on the Lulu in the Scion lane. Just let the game scale out. You have a fantastically late game scaling composition, and uh, just lack of patience cost them the game. Yeah, I agree. And I think Centaurin, despite not having the strongest early game, I think he had some pretty good engages late, Ron. I mm -hmm. do think he responded to some of the ganks in a better manner than we've seen. But the big picture over the course of the series, that's a guy who was carried to a win by his solo laners. Um, while Turtle went back to his North American roots, we saw a ton of flashes in and aggressive. And he wasn't punished in the series, but he can't afford to fall back into his old ways because yesterday he was super safe, super controlled, super calculated. So for Team Solomid, this was a pretty convincing win once they got the lead. It took them a shorter period of time to close it out. But it was very clear that they were playing it passive, playing it safe, playing it patient. Interesting to me as well, because that was one of the main things we were focusing on coming into the tournament. Santorin with um, not that much international experience. We had this stint where he was uh, with Wembley with C9 Eclipse slash H2K. Not really able to do it. Then he went over to Team Coast. And we had a couple of question marks. And I do feel like they haven't all been solved in this series. And they've added a couple for me. What about you, Crumbs? Well, Santorin has shown that he's, he can be a great reactive jungler, but being the aggressive one to place those deep wars by himself, we haven't seen that from him. And he's going to have to be at that level if they want to take the final. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely right. If, if we you know, conceivably see them against the GE Tigers, and of course we still have that second semifinal match to watch yet, but if you look at it, it's looking favored for GE. TSM, I think, can maybe safely plan on that one. And if they get there, yeah, they were able to beat Flash Wolves convincingly uh, in their last two games, but they're going to need to take it to that next level. I think you're absolutely right with Santorin needing to be, you know, a little bit more on the ball as far as hitting those ganks. Otherwise, you know, TSM really did a good job that last game of taking advantage of every little mistake the Flash Wolves kind of handed to them. Yeah, absolutely good adaptation. I think they uh, primarily have to think back of what they did on, did on day one because that was very impressive from their side and see how they can translate it and um, show us in the final tomorrow. And for now, we're going to hear one of the members of TSM because